Hi mamas, I'm Shen and welcome back to my channel at Mama Banana where I share hacks, tips and reviews on products made just for mamas. So today I am going to be reviewing wet bags. I have eight different types of wet bags here. I have a Jujube one, Kenya Care, Itsy Ritsy, BB Olay, um, Smart Bottoms, Charlie Banana. I'm going to go through all of them and what I like to use them for, okay? So let's get straight into the video now. So I'm gonna go through all my wet bags now, starting with the ones that I like the least. So here I have the one from Itsy Ritsy. Okay, it has kind of a cottony material on the outside, so it's not very quick drying, and it has a snap button on the outside so that you can hook this onto your stroller or whatever, so it's handy to bring out if you're cloth diapering. And then it has one separate pocket on the main inside, and this is a lovely kind of squishy material. It's very nice um, sensory feel to it. Now, quick tip, if you are to dry this, okay, I would separate the lining from the inside PUL material and I'd hang it drying like this so that it dries much quicker. And what I like about this is the cute print, but as you can see, it has not held up well to washing. I have had this for a couple of months, but I would say I've washed this about well under 10 times, so it's not really that many times at all. And it just, it doesn't look great because of the type of material that it is. But the print is nice, although quite faded, purely because this is um, a cotton material. So it's probably not the best type of material um, for a wet bag. And then next here I have a Kanga Care wet bag. Okay, and this is quite a unique shape. It's not flat. It has a lovely crescent shape to it, so you can hold a bit more. Okay. So it has one zip and as you can see this can hold quite a good bit of nappies. Okay? I love this so much. I love the feel of it. It feels really nice. This dries super fast and the print is just so vibrant and gorgeous. I think this is in the print sore. It is beautiful. It looks lovely in the girls room and um, it has a nice handle to it with a snap button, which is always handy to have. The only thing is, all right, it is not ideal for me to use with cloth diapering. I wash all my cloth diapers in 60 degrees wash. That's actually, despite what a lot of the, um, the nappy manufacturers will say, 60 is really what you need to kind of get your nappies properly sanitized and clean if you do. But um, all of this kind of plastic lining came away from the whole entire seam. So there was like a separate bit of plastic coming out of the whole bottom. And the worst part is when this came away from part of the bag, it tugged at the PUL that was attached to the bottom of the bag and it ripped it in the washing machine. Okay, it's probably very hard to see, but this is the part of the PUL that ripped from the bag when the, when the PUL part came apart from the seams and tugged at the bag. And this rip is actually at the bottom of the bag where I'd need it to be most water resistant. Had this had happened at the top of the bag, it would have been fine. But because it's at the bottom of the bag, it's now useless to me as um, for cloth diapering. I have to give credit where credit's due. When I contacted Amazon um, that there was an issue, they refunded me, no questions asked, and I don't have to post this back. So that saves me a trip to the post office. I can't use this as a wet bag anymore, but um, I love the print so much. I will utilize this for clothes storage or something okay toys i don't know I'll, I'll think about it but not for anything wet so that's good that i got to keep that now i would love to hear from anyone else that have used the kenya care wet bag if you have had the same issue or if it was just me because i'm keen to buy another one maybe in the care bear prints which i love i'm hoping it was a once off because kenya care is a very very well-known brand so it's I just can't see it being a common issue. And then here I have a little wet bag from BB Olay. I think this is very cute and I love that it has two sections. There is the dry section, okay, where there is no PUL lining and then there is the wet section where it has the waterproof lining. 
Okay, and I use this for uh, my cloth sanitary towels. I started using this a couple of months ago and I think they're great. The reason why this is one of the ones that I would like least is because, um, again, it's kind of got the cotton material on the outside so that it won't dry as quick as the other type of materials. But since I will only use this for um, cloth sanitary towels, this suits my needs perfectly. I do still love this. And just to mention as well, there is a tag on the side. It is a really wide tag. Okay, and um, there's no snap buttons, but you could probably thread something through yourself to hook it onto whatever it is that you would need to. And I love that there are two sections on it, so it's perfect for a cloth sanitary towel. Next, I have some really, really cheap wet bags. I absolutely love these. There's no reason for me not to like them. I love that um, these come with um, two zippered pockets, which is so handy to have. These two different ones, they dry super fast. I've never had any issues with leaking from these. These have snap buttons. There's no particular brand for these ones, all right, but I will include a link in the description box down below. And it has two um, sections that are both P-Well lined, which is really handy to have. I use these for crash. I put them in, um, in the crash bag so that if there's any dirty clothes, I can pop them in here. And I use them on holidays and for the pool. And this other one that I have here, I love that it is a wide shape. This is um, the Miro. It's not a big brand or anything like that. It's just one of the cheapy ones. But again, it has um, two sections on it, which is super handy. And um, Both of these have the water um, proof resistant lining. I use this one um, for snacks with my girls. So in the main pocket, I put all my girls snacks and food. And then in the smaller pocket is where I put things like bibs and um, cloths. And it also has a snap button so I can hook it onto anything. It's very, very handy to have. I do love this little wet bag. And then this one, I actually got this with um, the cloth sanitary pads, okay? And I love this. It's nice and petite, this one. I actually would recommend buying the cloth sanitary pads even just for this because wait till you see what I can actually fit in here and what fits so perfectly. This is two pockets and both of these are PUL lined. And in the main pocket, I actually keep a fold away toilet seat for my daughter. She was potty trained and then re she regressed so she's still in cloth diapers now. But um, I, I will be using this when she goes back to the potty. I love this potty seat, okay? It just folds out like that and it makes any toilet seat um, toddler friendly. Because both my girls are on the petite end of the scale. And that fits in here just right, nice and easy. And then that also has a snap button hook. So I usually loop that onto um, my belt loop on my trousers so that I could be hands-free going bring my girls to the bathroom. But isn't this just amazing? I love organization. I love when something fits in something so perfectly. And then in the front pocket, then I have um, the disposable paper toilet seat covers. They actually just fell out of the packaging right there when I lifted it out. But I love this little bag so much. Okay, so I don't particularly use it as a wet bag, but I do need something easily machine washable and wipeable for what I use this for. Next I have my Jujube mini wet bag. Okay, um, I think that the full size one of this is about the same size as the Itsy Ritsy, but this is the mini one. You have to get the be equipped to get this. It has the waterproof seal around the zips, which is great. It just feels extra secure. Um, but I love this. I use this in my changing bag. So when we're out about, if there's any accidents, I put the clothes in here. And I also use this for my cloth diaper. I love how flat this is, okay? So I fold it up like this. And I put it into my diapering clutch. I am currently using the one from Funko Baby, which I love. I will include a link to that video down below but that is an amazing diapering clutch I love that so much it's so handy but this dries 
super fast out of the wash because it's such a thin material but it feels very robust i absolutely love this wet bag so now the next two wet bags i'm going to go through are the ones that i use as a hanging wet bag at home for all the cloth diapers so we go through about seven to eight um, cloth diapers a day um these two are perfect you can hold so many in them okay so i have this one here from smart bottoms i love this so much it has double sits on it um it's egg shaped and you can unzip it all the way like this so you can have it whatever way you want but it's so easy to empty everything out okay so if you um take all the inserts and boosters out of your nappies then you can just tip them straight into the washing machine like this or you can sit them halfway up halfway down whatever way you want so that it's easy to pop the nappies in and then there's two nice big large handles and these are detachable or openable what's the right word let me know in the comments down below but you can open these with the snap button so you can loop it around whatever you want curtain rails or whatever you use to hang um, your wet bag up with and i love this print it is gorgeous it is called air and i've washed this several times and it comes out looking just as vibrant and perfect it dries quick as well and, and the material is still nice and thick and robust but this is um like a quick drying wicking material and i love this bag so much it's so silly it's a wet bag for um diapers i shouldn't love it but i do and like the great thing about these hanging wet bags is um when you're done with your cloth diapers you can use them as laundry bags you know you can never have too many laundry bags because all your um items need to be separated by color or how to wash them anyway so the more wet bags the better so that's how i justify it to myself to keep buying more wet bags and i just wanted to mention as well i actually leave my smart bottoms up like this i leave it sipped down partially so that you can let a bit of air into the nappies so it's usually down about halfway the sips and then as it fills up i'll pull the sips up a bit more so the more air you let in to circulate the less stinky it'll be when i actually used to have this closed up all the way it actually would leak out um, some smell and odors and when you open it up it stank really bad so if you let some air into your um, wet bag then it won't stink so much mm -hmm. and then finally here i have this huge wet bag from charlie banana okay i love this so much this is my all-time favorite wet bag for cloth diapering uh I'll include um, a little clip here on how it looks hanging up but um, the, it keeps the smell in so well like there's no zippered pocket up here up top okay you just um, hang it up and you just pop the nap nappies in you don't zip it up or anything like that and yet it keeps the smell in so well I've tried to achieve the same with the smart bottoms by unzipping part of it so that it essentially be kind of like this having just the top part open and yet it did not keep the smell in the same way this does the only time this let smells out is when you um shake the bag or you move things around in it that's the only time you smell anything and even then like puff puff and it's gone but this is the best wet bag by far and this soapy print it's so cute now um it has elastic um handles up here i prefer if these weren't elastic and i'd probably prefer if it had the snap buttons on it just again it keeps your options open on what you can hook it on to but it's fine i still absolutely love this and what's great about it as well okay is that it has a zip down the side all the way down okay so that it makes it very easy to unload everything because um i don't take my inserts or boosters out of my cloth diapers till i empty it into the washing machine i just unzip it so that i can easily access everything and um, it is perfect i do have kind of a question now okay so on the very inside bottom all right they have a little cotton patch in here okay which is very odd and I have absolutely no idea what this use is. And um, the only 
thing I could possibly think of is it to catch any drips of water so that it doesn't get to wick out. I don't know, that's very strange. If anyone knows, let me know. The thing is, it's kind of, it's not quite at the very bottom. See, it's about an inch away from the bottom of the bag. And it's at the side of the bag. It's over here. So when you do hang your bag up um, here, that would be where any drips would go to if there were any drips. So not to the edge here. So what could that possibly be for? If anyone knows, let me know in the comments down below. But that is absolutely baffling me when I discovered that. So that is all the wet bags. Okay. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please let me know in the comments and be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I need a thousand subscribers before I can monetize this channel. So I am still a long way off. So please do support another mama by subscribing and liking my videos. Okay. So this wet bag from Charlie Banana is my absolute favorite hanging wet bag for cloth diapers. This mini wet bag from Jujubee is my absolute favorite for cloth diapers and clothes with accident weeds and poos in it for when we're out and about. It's so small, I love this. Um, this little freebie wet bag is my favorite um i have used this for food okay but now i use it for um the toilet seat it's like a match made in heaven and who doesn't love a freebie product okay and you know i might actually buy more of those um cloth sanitary pads because i do quite like them and i love the little wet bag that came with it it's so silly being addicted to cloth diapers and wet bags i understand being addicted to girly bags um but wet bags oh my god anyway so until the next video thank you and goodbye